Good morning, good afternoon, whatever time you're watching this. So, I want to talk about this one just quick. This one's a little bit, a little bit crazy. Nothing that I've ever had to deal with personally. Um, so basically, Alex found the location to the three million pound mansion, Ryan Forbes. He also found a location which was five minute drive away which was a 10 million mansion. So we're like, wow, well, you know, that's gonna be good. That'd be good. Now, as we come up the road to the three million mansion, we see three girls walk past us. And we're like, maybe they were urban explorers, maybe not. When we get in the three million pound mansion, there is a woman in her forties in there and she's got bags of things. Now she said, oh, I'm an urban explorer. She's got a four year old daughter with her. A little bit crazy, I know. Um, but when we go to the £10 million match and we see the three girls that were trying to get in the £3 million one that had walked away because they thought it was not actually abandoned no more, they thought it was active. So when we, when we come up to the gate, me and my crew, we are banging on the fence and the three girls are like walking away quite quickly. And they said, oh, can you help us? We heard screams, we heard shouting, someone's been attacked in there. We're like, you know, what, what? Anyways, they called the police and the police had said for a week now, every night, that they've been getting calls that they're screaming for help, crying, coming from that mansion. And we could hear dogs barking. And the police basically went in there, went in there, tried, looked around. I don't know what they found, but all I know is the girls live in Farnborough. And the police actually went to Farnborough the next day, picked them up, took them back to Surrey and took them to the police station and made them write statements on what they saw, what they heard and apparently it was a kidnapping that had happened just there now I mean that's just crazy like you, you go out to explore and yeah you gotta understand it is dangerous like you gotta understand the building might not be sturdy you gotta understand stuff like that but a kidnapping's a bit more far fetched like you don't you're not you're not going to go into an abandoned building sometimes and think, well, this is it, I'm going to be kidnapped now. It's a bit crazy. So, we couldn't explore the 10 million mansion, but the girls, thankfully, did tell us there is a 12 million pound mansion. So, this is what we went off to explore. I hope you enjoy this. <coughs> phone light, you're great. Yeah, my phone light, look. Look at my torch light. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Fucking hell. So this is a 12 mil mansion. So this is a garage. They said the way in is round the back. What's going on? What? Let's see this. What's that? Oh shit. What's that? Oh wow. Whoa. Glow in the dark bug. I was about 10. I've never seen one. What is it? Oh, where did you see that? Wait, wait, wait. That's amazing. Well, that's cool. <laughs> it's a worm. Oh, glow worm. Yeah. How do you see that? You just see it in the grass. It's oh, there. there's one down there. It's probably one of those. See a way in. Did 
it's just house backs onto miles and miles of woods. It's really nice. I mean, all the houses around here are really nice. See us. If we can see their lights, they can see us. Well, I think that's straight lights. Yeah, straight lights. You can't. weird how it's all boarded up and then there's just that one window. someone upstairs. Oh, I don't know if it was you lot walking across the roof, but I think I heard someone upstairs. Right, Alex Paranormal. Really? Savage Pony. Oh, whoa. Some little man. I heard someone walking around upstairs. Well, look at these bottles. Do you think they're fresh? Hello? We're here to take pictures. the shit out of me when you went wow I thought there was someone up there. <laughs> Looks like someone was taken to a refuge in it. Hello? <laughs> so 
this back in its day would have been a 12 mil mansion but clearly copper thieves have been here that looks like a safe in the far corner Oh shit. Yeah, it is. Of course, it's not going to be anything in there. Management of company finance. So there's a book in there. It had some details on it, so I'm not going to film it. But it said about Porsche Racing. That was the company. Uh, it's a loft. We'll have a quick look. I hate going in lofts. I feel like someone's up here and they're just going to fucking have my head as it comes up. <laughs> fucking hell, it's long. It's Christmas bags. Nothing like interesting though. <laughs> Double bedroom. And they've got an ensuite over there. Always oh, black mold. That's why I'm covering my face. They're down there. It was monster, don't worry. No, we see like a shadow, mate. Oh. Way before that, I was fucking prick. I don't know what I'm trying to do. I'll see you. Is that you? What? Did you chuck something down again? No. Nah. I'm excited to see this. Whoa. There's a swim pool? Footsteps. Shampoo is still there, and 
the towel already. What on earth? Is this the sauna? TV, oh, magnifying glass and a vice. No way. All the bits are still in it. See, I like to see something like this. All right, guaranteed. All his tools have been fucking nabbed, but wow. Down. What's in there? It's <laughs> like bulbs over there. Shut oh, that leg. It's a bit stiff. That's a drain colour. That's a crazy colour, look at that. <laughs> oh, there's a kitchen down there as well. This looks like this bit was literally left untouched. Most of it anyway. What was that beeping? Oh, I thought it was an alarm or something. Did you hear that? No. Fuck off. Did you hear that bang upstairs? voices walking around the building. I am 100% certain there's voices going around the building. Oh. I'm 100% certain there's voices going around the building. <laughs> 